Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're checking out the TDS Meter Plus from Reef Factory. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So I was actually really excited when I found this product and I was talking to Reef Factory about it. They're nice enough to send me some so big shout out to you guys. Thank you very much for that. So both of my tanks have their own RODI system and both of them I've automated. So I have a mixing station downstairs, I have my 35-40 gallon bin down there, and there's optical sensors in the top and bottom, and whenever it gets low, it, it kicks on the RODI and it refills itself. So I, I rarely ever actually have to look at or touch the RODI manually. Same thing with the office tank. I got a Neptune level sensor in there, whenever it hits a certain level, it kicks on, and it's probably like every three days, and it refills my ATO for me. And the RODI is tucked away at the end of the tank. So same thing, I don't really look at them that often. So my DI is exhausted, I don't always know right away which is why I was excited to find this, because it connects to your Wi-Fi network and it can send you push notifications or alerts and let you know once a certain threshold set. So if it's anything other than zero, I want to know about it, so it's time to change the DI. So let's open this, check it out, install it, and see how it works. Quick instruction guide, pretty simple. We have the actual meter, nice small little meter with a display on it. Um, the only one thing you will have to take into account is it does have a power port on it, so you will need power obviously for this. We have our actual conductivity probe of our universal power supply, TDS calibration liquid, our little union to install it in line, as well as some double-sided tape to mount our display. So looks pretty simple, let's get it installed. All right, so we got this plugged in for the first time. Now we should be able to be putting out a Wi-Fi network we can join. All right, so we have that Wi-Fi network, the password is Reef Factory. I believe we go to reeffactory.io in the browser and we should be able to set it up from here. So English, level at which you want to receive an alert. So I want to receive an alert at 1 ppm. Join it to my Wi-Fi. But now to physically install this, I'm going to calibrate it first, which is super quick and we'll go over that in a second. But I want to, I still have this one on here. I want to fit them both on. So I'm going to have to try and fit two of these in between. This might be a little tight, but I think we can make it work. Okay, so now this is added. I'm just going to click on my TDS meter. We're going to go to calibrate. Make sure it's dry, it needs to show zero. All right, so it's in the solution. I'm gonna say calibrate, calibrate, calibrating. So that was super quick and easy. Install the you always wanna make sure it is this way so the water is flowing between the probes. All right, super tight, but it's installed. Now we'll check for leaks. So right now it's saying alarm high because I set my alarm for one and it's saying it's seven. And if I take a look at this TDS meter, it's showing six. Okay, now they're both showing six, so I'm just letting it flush right now. So I might have to set the alarm a little bit higher, but we'll see. All right, guys, so it's still showing two, and I got one on the other screen, which shows me I'm obviously due to change the DI. So as we saw, it was already over one, so this is due for replacement, so it's already doing its job. The case in point, exactly why I needed this guy. Um, so what I normally do on, this obviously only works on the dual DI setup, but on the single DI one, I would just replace the DI. But on the dual one, what I do, which means this one's exhausted. So this one is going to be tossed. This one, I'm going to move over to this position because it'll be partially exhausted. And I'm going to put the new one in the second position. And that kind of keeps it so you always have like a full fresh backup. And this guy, we're going to dump it out and replace the beads. So we put on our new DI filter and we are back to zero. So this is doing exactly what it should be. It was letting me know that I was way overdue to swap out my DI. So I was super stoked for this, that it gives me alerts. Um, if you guys want to check it out, uh, Refactory TDS Meter Plus, super cool device. I'm pretty stoked for it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, let me know below. And if you are automating your RODI, I would definitely recommend checking out this guy. All right guys, see you on the next video.